You know, vans are a funny vehicle because unless you actually look around and start noticing them, they're invisible. But when you do notice them, they're everywhere. And that's why a new van is a big deal. And that's why I'm here. That's right, here in Holland, test driving that, the brand new 2019 Sprinter van. And coming up right now, we're gonna take it for a ride. Uh, this is my man, uh, Brent from uh, Motor Trend, Truck Trend actually. Truck Trend, yep. Yep, Truck Trend. He's my co-driver today. You're helping me load the very heavy tulips. Yeah, that was, a, that was a really rough load. Yeah. One of the new features of the Sprinter is actually an app. It's right there. It's Mercedes Pro. It goes on your phone. And it gives you things like how much fuel you have in the van. And of course, it also serves as a key to the van and you can use it to program destinations that drivers need to go to. So Mercedes sent us here to this tulip grower to pick up some tulips and bring them back to, well, I don't know where we're bringing them back, but somewhere here in Holland. Guys, you need your package. I got a package for you and you can take it in the car. So, um, and we have a big van. Is that, the small, is that the biggest package you have for us? Yes, just one package and um, <laughs> yeah, you could take it in the car. You know how many we can get into the printer? Ooh, I think a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but you only get one, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, I think we don't need a sprinter for this. No, we don't. No. We could have made do with a smart car, but that's okay. <laughs> How many tulips do you think we can get in this van? A lot of. A lot of tulips. A lot okay. of tulips. Do the math. Yeah. How do you do the math? Two, three, four, five, five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Five up. Five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, like twelve. Twelve. Twelve big. So do the math. Twenty-five times twelve. 300. What's the difference between a Dutch waffle and a regular waffle? It's fresh. It's fresh? <laughs> it's very special. So these are the Dutch waffles? Yes. That are the Dutch waffles, yeah. Okay. Do you want to taste one? Yeah, I'd love to taste one, thank you. I will make it warm. Oh, sit on your knee? Yeah. I will make it warm for you. Okay, oh, let me get that. Thank you. Do you only export tulip or? Uh, no, also daffodils, hyacinths, uh, all the uh, spring uh, flowers. Is that what this is? A, a, a stroop stroopwafel. Can you say that? Because say it again. Stroopwafel. Okay. <laughs> and that's Dutch. Yes. That's really good. <laughs> if you fly United, you've probably had these. Um, how do you say them? Stroopwafel. Stroopwafel. You've probably had these stroopwafels, uh, yeah. but they are much better when you have them fresh. Tells you the fuel level, the add blue level. That's good. 280 miles of range left, so yeah. It does tell you some stuff. Yeah. But it doesn't tell you what kind of engine you have. It tells you state of uh, state of charge, your brake lining, uh, you know, the wear level on your brake pads. Show it, would you? Yeah. Put up the of camera. Course. Yeah, we've got a lot of cool features. Um, tells you just lots of diagnostics, um, your brake fluid temperature, your brake brake pad uh, wear level, coolant level, washer fluid level, all kinds of things, lots of... Yeah, it's cool that that's also your key. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you've got a fleet of these things, I suspect, you know, losing keys would be pretty easy. Oh, yeah. As opposed to having an app that actually you just keep in your pocket. Yeah, every every driver has their own app. Yeah. And they have all the, all the trucks loaded in there and they, you know, they get to work one morning and they open their app and they say, oh, I'm assigned to truck number four and they take their phone and unlock truck number four and drive away. One sprinter I'm always looking for is the 4x4. 
That's one of my favorite. And then we're yeah. still getting that. We have to unbox it. You want to do the honors? No, you do the honors. Okay. Go ahead, open it up. All right. All right. Let's see what we let's see what we deliver. The latest YouTube craze. <laughs> there it is. Oh, look at that. How beautiful. Lovely bouquet. You want some flowers? Thank you. You're really welcome. There you go. Thank you. You know what I'm looking at right there? Can you see it over there? How cool is that? Yeah, man. Yeah. You got, what's that? Yeah. The Mercedes OM or something like that? The very first. Yeah, look at it. Look at that. What was that called? I'm sure somebody in YouTube world will know what that is, but that is a badass looking van. Look the at that. Original Mercedes van. So what did you call that old van? I I think it's the OM606, but I'm not gonna bet my life on it. Let's All find right, let's out. Go, let's go find out. Because this is the different generations, right? So, so here's the newest. Sprinter, yeah. 2006 Sprinter. Yep, 2006. 1995 Sprinter. Uh-huh. And T1, apparently. 1977 T1. So you got it right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I was thinking engine. Engine's the OM602 diesel yeah. engine. Yeah. So I was probably thinking engine codes or something. But it's cool. Yeah. Man. Let's see. Let's see what this. Is it open? Oh, they locked it. Look at that jazzy cloth interior. Oh, yeah. That's pretty badass. That'd be sweet. Let's look at the older one. Let's look at the next one. Classic. Is this one locked too? That one's, oh, look at the interior. Look at that oh. jazzy interior. Oh, that is a jazzy interior. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is like the height look of... Look at that shift lever too. Good lord. You know, it's... Uh, That's a big silly shift lever. Is a, there it is. That is a huge shift lever. Look at that. It looks like an elephant's tail. Elephant something. Yeah, exactly. Elephant something. <laughs> tail! Tail! It's a tail. Tail. It's an elephant's tail. See, now we got much more modern interior. That's uh, the current one. Can we open this one? Oh, locked again. And of course, now you can see the difference. And there's the newest one. With its... Uh, oh, look, that one doesn't have the... Uh, big uh, infotainment display. Huh? It's more of the base version. The next generation of Sprinter van will come in many different configurations just like today's Sprinter including this box van which is basically a cargo van you know used by small businesses like plumbers, florists, and of course it can also be configured like this van which is a people mover, a passenger van. This is the kind of van used by rent-a-car agencies to move people from their facilities to the airport or by anybody who wants to just move a lot of people in a very efficient and comfortable way. Full disclosure, Mercedes flew me out here to test drive these vans in Europe, which means that a lot of these European vans in America we're not gonna get, and that includes the front wheel drive Sprinter and this manual Sprinter. Every Sprinter coming to America is going to be an automatic. This is what we get in the U.S. in, in kilowatts. Yes, yes exactly. Okay. Yeah. So, so it'll be uh, 140 kilowatts and 350 newton meters. Yes, exactly. Uh, and the six-cylinder, that's going to be the diesel, right? So yes, this is diesel. 140 kilowatts, yeah, 440 40. newton meters. And then the four-cylinder, we're going to get... Um, 120 kilowatts, kilowatts 360. and 360. Yeah. 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 So, and then of course this is the gasoline. Yeah, and this is the same yeah. engine you get in the Metris, but with a really different power rating because okay. in the Metris, it's I believe 100. And it's either 151 or 155, and it needs premium fuel. Yeah. This is 140, but regular. All right. And how about transmissions? Have you guys decided what transmissions? Yes. All automatic, All automatic and it's actually one-on-one -on -one pairing so okay. if you get a diesel engine you get the seven speed uh, automatic so the seven G tronic if you get the um, uh, gasoline engine you get the nine speed okay so we get the so both seven and a nine speed yeah no depending more five on speed sorry no more five uh, no. speed okay. sorry and then let's look at the vans again for the US <laughs> so we're getting um, these are the box vans Yes, you're getting, you're getting you're getting panel van cargo van. Yep. You're getting passenger van, um, which is passenger van. You're not getting the buses. Right. Um, 
those are just Latin America. And then they can't spell cab. This is, I've told them this six oh. times. It's yep. misspelled. So, so you, you're uh, just getting the single cab. I'm sorry. We're getting the single cab. We're, 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 getting, we're getting the single cab. Yeah, you're just getting the single cab. <laughs> are we getting the dually again? Sorry? Are we getting the dually? Yes. Okay. Yeah. We're yeah. Still getting the dually? The dually or the super single, depending. Okay, and, and you said this is new, the five tone? Uh, no, the no. five ton is not new. What's okay. new is the five and a half ton. Oh, you can get a, a higher. Ton. It's not a different variant, but it has a higher GVWR. Okay. So the two most interesting bits of information I learned is that number one, we're not getting stop start because apparently American customers don't like it, which may be true, but we do like saving gas. And so number two, all the American vans will have paddle shifters. So I guess that's good if you like to downshift. Now we're not getting the electric version because Mercedes says that it doesn't have enough range. Plus it's based on the new front wheel drive version that we're not getting either. But we are getting, of course, basically the same vans that we had before. I asked, why don't we get stop start? You know what they said? Why? Because American customers don't want it. Do you believe that? Um, I mean, yeah, everyone I know who, everyone I know who cares about cars always turns it off whenever they have it, but I feel like it's a, a good feature just to save yeah. a tenth of a gallon of fuel, you know, over, if you have a huge fleet, that adds up. Yeah, we also don't get the super tall one. Yeah. Yeah, that's gone now. But we do get paddle shifters. <laughs> is this... I think that's a super tall. This is the super tall. I think so, yeah. So this this ridge line is probably where the tall is, right? Right. Just hard to make it work for U.S. safety regulations. So I noticed that on some of the vans you had cup holders, but some didn't. Will the Americans always get cup holders? Because we like our cup holders. You, you can get <laughs> a, as, as many as you want. Maybe I can show you at the dashboard over there. <laughs> right, yeah. First of all, you have like four up here. Oh, these are cup holders. Yeah. These are cup holders. But you, have just you have a windshield here. It's that works. Does it still work? Yeah. All right. For, for cups in that yeah, size, yeah. it works perfectly. And then here in those two, yeah. you can get uh, set in there. There is here a big cup holder and a smaller one next to it. Okay. And the big one, it works even with the, the big Burger King yeah, big gulps. Like gulps super yeah. gulps. This is basically a program set up for international media. So there are people here from, reporters here from around the world. Yep. Driving these. So what'd you get? So here's our here's what the computer is indicating. We've been doing a lot of highway driving, not too much stop and grow. Yep. Uh, we've been doing 22.6 miles per gallon. 22.6. That's not bad. That's really not bad. And we're in a long wheelbase tall. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big, it's it's empty and we've had really favorable traffic it's conditions. Not empty, but we got something else back there. It's not empty. Oh, we got a, yeah, we got a pallet of sand. Adaptive cruise control going. And how's it working? It's pretty good. Yeah. I'm not touching the pedals or anything. Just matching the speed up front. Here are all the technology we have. We have camera and park assist, active brake assist, uh, blind spot assist, and active lane keep assist. I like this uh, 360 degree bird's eye view camera, huh? You can see who's next to us. Hey, you want to wave, Brian? Sorry. Wave. Where's the camera? I think it's down here. There it is. <laughs> so on the passenger van, yeah. how many uh, how many seat configurations can you get in America? So how many? Um, in the U.S., you will get two. Yeah. Eleven plus one and a fourteen plus one. Okay, what's the plus one? That's the driver. Yeah. Okay, so eleven or fourteen. Yeah. And that's the regular versus the long, right? Yeah. All right. Um, and oh, you can also eleven in the long one, that you have more loading space. Armrests and cup holders, and there you have it. Armrest and cup holders are available. The one thing that I, I can tell you that I didn't like driving this uh, box van was the brakes were a little touchy. Okay. Yeah, it was just a little, you know, it, was, it wasn't linear. It was a, just just when I got to the end, all of a sudden they grabbed. Grabbed right away. Yeah, and you know, this could be a pre-production thing. The one thing that I noticed was on some road textures, it kind of had a, uh, kind of sent a kind of grittiness through the, through the cabin that uh, probably would have gotten old if it was on a long, long period of time. And again, that could be regional differences, could be the tires that we were on, could be totally non-existent in American asphalt, but you know, otherwise it was a solid drive. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's 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 go sign up for a passenger version let's do it. and head back to um, 
Amsterdam. Back to Amsterdam. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, dude, we've got passengers. Say that again. Why do we have passengers? We have passengers because uh, my buddy there, uh, Javier Mota, put a van into the mud. Gotcha. Yeah, and now he has no van to drive. Gotcha. So he's got a. So that van is it drivable? Apparently not. He he got it stuck. So he has to come with us. So we have the passenger van and we have passengers. It's right there. Let's just drive it. It's fine. Look, he put. Look, he put. Look at that. You can see where he yeah. put the front wheels into. It's the, definitely yeah. deep. Is there a crater? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. They had to pull. It, they had to oh, pull yeah, him out. There's a crater. Oh yeah! Look at that. There's a nice crater. <laughs> oh, no, I, <laughs> okay. I have so, an update. I have an update. You have an update? What happened? I, it didn't break while I drove it in here, but I was by the way. I was trying to help because Hold they on, were parked. Is, oh, this is so loud. <laughs> so by the way, I was I was trying to help, so I tried to park it facing uh, going out there. But yeah. apparently, when they tow it out, yeah. that's when something broke. So it wasn't my. I it didn't wasn't your fault. You're not, you're not taking responsibility for this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take it. Apparently, and someone else did it over there, so I don't feel that bad. All right. <laughs> The new Sprinter will go on sale at the end of this year and some of the models will be built in the new factory in Charleston while others will still be built just outside of Berlin. Fuel economy should rise, according to Mercedes, about 5% better than the outgoing model and pricing about the same, probably a little bit more. Mercedes said that it has not yet been determined, so we'll have to wait for that. All right, so in terms of connectivity right here is a glove box and you've got two USB ports plus I think this is actually very thoughtful you've got wireless charging right there so you could put your phone right there have it actually wireless charge connected right into the car or van in this case uh, and then just close it and just leave it be or if you don't like that solution you also have a USB C port right down here along with a 12 volt charger uh, so you know that's a pretty thoughtful feature I think for uh, a van that's going to be used as an office. Hey, from, yeah, are you connected to the Wi-Fi back there? All the way back here, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, so it's like I'm working from back here. So is it cool. is it for LTGE? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. And you're looking up Dutch porn. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> what else is up there? <laughs> oh, I can see the comments already, boys. Hey Javier, you're working on the computer. How comfortable is it back there? So very smooth. Uh, I have to say, I mean, the, I'm impressed also by the infrastructure here in the Netherlands. All the roads seem to be like brand new, and but the suspension here does it feels really, really comfortable. You work so on no the bumps or anything like that. You're well, working on the computer, huh? Concise. <laughs> so the lights have a little bit more of that Mercedes design language from you know the Mercedes cars. Uh, but otherwise, the, the one thing that's consistent throughout all four of them is that giant star. So you were asking about the star. Yeah. Basically, whenever one of our designers um, does a front end styling, we start with the star and everything is really composed around the star. So you see the central star um, and you see the whole grill turns around somehow around the star and even still the even still the, 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 the light the shot line of the light it's everything it's surrounding the star so the star is really the center the main player of the front i also noticed that you've got the mercedes lights the same design language that you have in the right. cars so we had we had two proposals really one where we said okay it's a commercial vehicle we want to give it a more a, a kind of a heavy truck design we even had a proposal with vertical headlights but in the, um, in, in the end, we were very convinced that going for the car-like appearance, um, that's the right thing, because the Sprint is a commercial vehicle, but it drives really like a fast car. I want to thank Mercedes for flying me out here and my fellow journalists for taking part in this video. Now you kind of sort of know all about the new van, but we really have to drive it, we really have to load it, we really have to tow with it to get the complete story, and I promise you that is still coming up on the Fast Lane Truck. As always, this is Roman. You know where to go, tfltruck.com. See you guys next time. Ciao. I've never found actually voice command to work 100% of the time yeah. as advertised. It's yeah. always got issues. You can try it. Hey Mercedes. How can I help you? Turn down volume.
What can I do for you? Turn down volume. Can you say that again, please? Turn down volume. What do you want to do? I want you to turn down the volume. Please give me the radio station name. <laughs> turn <One> of them. <laughs> off radio. Could you repeat your input, please? Yes, turn radio off. Select a station by saying the name of the desired station. No radio. I think I think that's one that you probably have to just... I don't recognize that. Bajon radio is what she did for you. You said no radio and she's turned it to Bajon radio. And she turned it up. I think that's just something you gotta... You gotta live with. You gotta take your hand off the wheel and turn down the volume. We're not there yet.